Okay, the style that we practice is <coughs> Matsubashi Shurunru. Uh, we're part of the Shurunru family, and we first, which is Okinawan karate. We first started here in 1986. Uh, there was two types of karate. They're called the two mobs. You have meaning of motion and martial science. So martial science would be sparring, calisthenics, push-ups, sit-ups. Okinawan karate is about meaning of motion. Why we do the things that we do. Why the katas are so important because it becomes a subconscious act if someone attacks you. So it's not about wanting to go out and fight with anybody, but when you study the kata, the secrets of karate are in the kata. You mainly it's confidence. Uh, you know, if students come to my dojo uh, to get fit, I tell them to go to a gym. Karate is not about getting fit, it's about working on yourself. It's about, we have a lot of young children here come in and they develop confidence. Uh, first of all, they train in the dojo with everybody else. They get confident, then we bring them to competitions where they practice just for confidence building. And that's what it does. And also teach them to respect other people and respect themselves. Because the biggest enemy you have is yourself, not, not a stranger. And how you react to certain, certain situations. For example, bullying. People say the best way to deal with a bully is beat them up. No, the best way to deal with a bully is how you deal with you. That's the best way, deal with yourself, not the bully. And just let, you know, be able to handle things that have been said. You know, anything that's been said to you when it goes into your head, you decide what happens to it, not somebody else. What he needs sent to Nashi. He said there's no first attack. Everything in karate is defensive. You have to do something to me before I react. And if, I'm trained pro and if I'm trained properly, and my mind is right, and I control the distance, I will control the outcome. But it's not something we take lightly. I can now and say you only fight when you're on the edge of a cliff, when you have no choice. And then your mind takes over. And if you're trained properly, it's very easy to say, go and learn to fight. But most people have no conception of reality when it comes to fighting. Aggression, people on drugs, people drunk, you know, people carrying weapons. It's a whole different world when it comes real, you know, so, man. He was the founder of all Sharon Ru Karate. And he said, if you spend your whole lifetime training continuously and never have to use the skill which you acquired, then you have, you have reached the secret of karate.